All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. And this time I'm taking a look at the official trailer for Poker Face, which is a show coming to BCAC, uh, which of course is uh, being, I think, co-directed or something. I think he, I think it's partly directed and created by Ryan Johnson. He's either the producer or the creator. Or I, don't, I don't know. I haven't really been keeping up with it. I didn't even watch it. I think there was a teaser trailer. I didn't even watch it. Uh, I know the synopsis. I know the premise. Um but uh i don't know much of that. i think he's directing a couple episodes at least anyway ryan johnson of course he just did a uh, uh glass potato uh, a knives in mystery <laughs> good because i've got the name wrong it's funny anyway no glass onion which i thought was really good like i honestly think about it more and more i think i have more problems with that movie than i do with knives out which i don't really have like there's a couple of things that are logic issues that i in Knives Out, that I'm like, okay, that didn't make really sen that much sense. But it, it, it was such a fun movie. And it had great characters. That was just like, whatever. I don't even care. That, that movie I could watch any day. Uh, Glass Onion, though, like, um, I thought Janelle Monet was great. Especially, there's a reveal with her that I thought was awesome. Not the reveal itself, but, like, when you find out what's... It's great. Anyway, she, I thought she was great. And, of course, Daniel Craig is amazing. But uh, there's a lot of, like, issues I had with, like, just... Not while watching it, but it was more like later. Like, I didn't watch any reviews either. I didn't give a fuck. Um, but I was just thinking about, like, wait, that part didn't make sense. So, still really good. Don't get me wrong. I still really enjoyed it. But, um, anyway. Uh, Poker Face is a new show. From Ryan Johnson, in some form. Uh, I don't know much about it besides the premise. Uh, I'm not even going to say what the premise is, just in case nobody knows what it is. It's a, it's a unique premise. I like it. It's like a, it's a serialized, like, every episode's a new mystery, is I think. That's not the premise, but that's one thing I know about it. Anyway, let's go. Three, two, one, and play. What's it like? Always knowing the truth. Oh, Adrian Brody. That means he's gonna die. Mystical. You'll probably be, you'll probably die in the next five minutes. Five seconds. Yeah. yeah. So she gets. All right. So there you go. That's the premise. I know what you did, you psycho. Oh, nice. Remember that? You're gonna find Charlie too, and you're gonna bring it to me. Well, Love Ron Perlman. Right? What's it like leaving everything behind? Start fresh. Well, I got wolves on my fender. Oh, I gotta keep moving. I love her voice oh, in the special room. Oh, she was in, uh, no, Glass Out. Uh, Glass Onion. There's been a murder. A moida. Nice, it. Look So she's just really unlucky. Every time she showed up, someone dies. You watch too much Dateline. I can tell she was lying. What is it? It's a woman's intuition. Hey! Oh, it's not like a tampering commercial, okay? It's a real thing. Yes, darling. That's a woman. That's a woman. That was just a woman. Don't see. I haven't seen him in a long time. Don't see you in the trunk. Your choice. Benjamin Bratt from Catwoman fan. <laughs> run. <laughs> run. Yo, is she plays a devil? I guess I'm not over the part where you're a human lie detector. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's crazy. You ever gamble? Because you can make a killing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I love her voice. You too. January 26th. Looks pretty good. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. She's punching devils. That's cool. What? I didn't know this existed. Woo! Woo! I actually hurts. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> How does he do it? Oh. <coughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Anyway. It probably doesn't sound good on the mic either. Not the cough. Well, the coughing probably didn't either. Anyway, that was a pretty good uh, trailer. That uh, <coughs> that woo got me. It was like a tickle in my throat. And I just did that. The first time I, I I did the woo, I had a tickle. And I'm like, I'm going to do it one more time, though. And I should have done it the second time. <coughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah. Pretty good. I like it. I like what I see. Um, I... We'll say it didn't, they didn't really present the, you can read the emotions, uh, premise. They didn't really show it too much in this. 
which is probably good anyway because let's not screw around it's probably going to be a hard thing to show in a trailer her just like looking and so there's gonna be a lot of scenes of her just like looking and like examining somebody i assume um it also like it seems like she's more of like a reluctant um hero i guess yeah uh, like she's on the run and she'll just have to solve mysteries along her way. That's it. It's a good premise. So we'll see. It looks, it looks like it could be good. Um, comes out, uh, in, uh, three weeks. Exactly. Um, right. 26, right? Yeah. It's three weeks. Um, and then, oh man, a day after that dead space remake. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good month. I, I, I didn't even think about that, but it's a good month. It's a lot of good stuff. A lot of TV shows coming out I'm excited for. Dead Space Remake. Uh, oh, a new Fire Emblem. I gotta wrap up some of the games I've been playing from last year. That ain't happening. My backlog. My backlog. I can't. My backlog's scary. Anyway, that's it. Bye.